Here's a grading where I have set 2 to 1 all the way around. I've said yes to the entire length. All we need to do is select Create Transition. Select the starting feature line. Select the grading side, which would be the outside. And select the start point. Now, I think in your post you said you want one side graded at 5 to 1. So essentially what has to happen is you have to have four separate transition points. One, let's say, somewhere here down on the bottom that starts at the 2 to 1, and then another that ends at the 5 to 1, and then another that starts at the 5 to 1, and then the last one that finishes back down at the 2 to 1. After we're done, you'll understand. So here's my start point. So from at this start point, it's still 2 to 1. I'll select the feature again. Select the same side. Now this start point is the start of the 5 to 1. There we go. Notice, it started at 2 to 1 here, transitioned to 5 to 1. Now what's happening is it's transitioning back to 2 to 1 all along this. But we don't want it to transition all the way back to here. We want it to create another transition. Pick the same side. Start point is here. At that point is 5 to 1. And then the last one we'll do one more. Start point, let's say, is there. At this point, we're back down to 2 to 1. Okay, so right here is that 2 to 1. Between there and there is the transition from 2 to 1 to 5 to 1. Between there to there is all 5 to 1. And finally, from there to here is the transition back to 2 to 1. Now the cool thing is you can adjust these grips. For every transition you have, you can adjust the start and end point. So if you want this to kind of go all the way around, oops, ortho's on, to go all the way around the corner, well, it's transitioning from 5 to 1 here all the way around the corner to this spot here. And that's it. That's how you can add a transition to a grading who's already been set to 2 to 1 all the way around. Good luck.